Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I pray God really anoints this. Listen, we have seen what's going on. We've seen the fires. We've seen the floods. We see all kind of stuff going on. And we know with the missiles that they're preparing and the missiles that have already been fired, we know we're in the place where there are even rumors of wars. It seems like everything is breaking loose. Like, remember I talked about popcorn in the other video months ago where things start going off and it's like listening to popcorn. That's the way things are going to start happening. Now, I'm telling you, you think that a lot of us Christians are on YouTube just trying to be fear mongers. This is not about fear. This is about prayer. This is about awakening, trying to wake some people up to say, hey, if you haven't gotten off the fence, get off of it and get on God's side while you can. If you're straddling the fence and you're living a double life, quit it while you have time to make that choice. Listen, the signs of the times are all around us, you guys. You got to get out from the selfies, get out from the mirror, get off of the TV and start paying attention to what's going on. God is warning us every day. But we're too busy being entertained. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you're going to be entertained, all right. All right. I'm going to stop fussing. I want you to hear this word. Because I'm trying to say, wake up. Matthew chapter 16, verses 1, 2, and 3. The Pharisees also, with the Sadducees came, and tempted, desired him, they were tempting, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can ye not discern the signs of the times? All right. Now, I want you to hear this next piece of scripture. Because sometimes it almost seems like we purposefully turn a blind eye and purposefully turn a deaf ear. It's going to get so loud up in this place. You're not going to be able to turn away. You're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to hide. It's going to be on you and on me in a second. Watch this. Remember popcorn. Every time you pop yourself a bunch of popcorn, you listen to how slow it pops and how fast it starts to pick up pace when a whole bunch of them start popping off at the same time. That's the times we're in now. Only it ain't popcorn, baby. It's crap jumping off the pot. Trying times. Days of sorrows. Okay. But from Pat's Two Cents back to God's Word. This is Matthew 24, period. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, Seek ye not all these things. Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? I want you to hear Pat's two cents. I want you to hear this. I want you to, if you're not interested in hearing God's word, 
Listen to this. These are the words of Jesus Christ himself. So for those of you who want to call all us YouTubers or uh, fear mongers, you go on and call it. But what are you going to call Jesus for putting out his warning? Listen and listen to the details and think about what's happening today. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places all of these are the beginning of sorrows then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity, which is sin, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be a great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor even shall be. And except those days be should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then, if any man say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so also the sun, so excuse me, so also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whosoever the carcass is, oh, I messed that up, I'm sorry. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Now, let me stop there. Pat's two cents. Let me interject right here. My friend, Pat, that saw the angels, she had a dream 
that she was in Palmdale, and I already said this in the previous video, she was in Palmdale, and the, the power lines were crashing into the streets. And she was wondering, oh my goodness, what is going on? And before she could check to see if the house was okay, she saw these big rocks and small rocks falling from the sky. There's no volcano near her from the sky. All right, listen. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. See, listen, Pat's two sons. I got to stop right here. This ain't going to be in secret, y'all. The whole world's going to see this. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour, Pat's two cents, got to interject right here. For all you YouTubers and all you prophets that have a date, a month and a time, watch yourself. These are the words of Jesus. But of that day and hour, verse 36, but of that day and hour, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Let me read it again. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. Pat's two cents. Saints, live in the ark of safety. Live holy. Live close to God's heart. Seek him at every turn. Listen for his every, every command. Stay in his way. Avoid those that don't. This is not the day to play. Verse 39. After he entered the ark. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field. One shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. That is verse 42. And we're stopping there. Pat's two cents. You got chaos. You got disasters. You got sickness. You got poverty. You got famine. You got all kind of crap going on. You uh, Listen. You got drought in many places, even in America. There's going to come a time when life is not going to be what we are used to as little pampered Americans. But let me tell you this, for those of you who are born again Christians, living a holy life, walking the narrow way, 
being connected to the other people in the body of Christ. Listen, those of you who are a little isolated right now, you get connected with the body of Christ because it's going to be in our connection with each other. Our unity, our pooling of resources, our gathering together in homes, in basements, in quiet places where we will be kept safe. You cannot turn to the world and look for them to rescue you. Only your Savior can save you. God bless you. And I hope you turn to him in time. Be safe.